When the Concorde ended service in 2003, commercial supersonic flight died with it. But a company called Arion sees a market for supersonic business jets, and they're moving forward with development. Here's a progress report. Uh, Arion Corporation is marketing the 8 to 12 passenger supersonic business jet. Uh, the price in 2007 dollars is 80 million. Here at MBAA, we're talking about the most recent uh, round of testing that we've done with NASA. We've flown a representative sample of the wing at speeds of up to Mach 2 on their F-15B, and that was to really look at issues of manufacturability and operations and flight. So first we wanted to see that the uh, tolerances that would be needed in manufacturing to build the SBJ are no more complicated than what we have for current state-of-the-art business jets. And then we wanted to look at issues of, of insect accretion and other things that would affect the natural laminar flow in flight. And what we have seen from both the manufacturing side and from the operation side is that there are no showstoppers, that this aircraft can, can easily be manufactured and operated um, you know, under current business jet state-of-the-art practices. And the, the buyer is a mix of high net worth individuals and corporations. We have uh, letters of intent for 50 aircraft to date at the current configuration, priced at $80 million in 2007 dollars. And these are people who see the value in speed. I mean, this is truly a time machine for people for whom time is money. Is privately, is, is privately funded and is sufficiently capitalized for where we are at this stage. You know, our goal going forward is we're looking at a new engine. Uh, we were going to use the Pratt & Whitney JTAD, but that's going out of production. Also with stage five emissions requirements coming on board and noise, we, we need to find a more modern core that can, that can help uh, get us to where we need to be. So the goal for over the next year will be to, to uh, continue our discussions with the Western engine manufacturers, find a new engine, and then after that secure an OEM agreement, joint venture, and take this into production. We're hoping for certification in 2020 and entry into service in 2021.